So you're trying to eat healthier and you're dreading the thought of eating chicken and broccoli and brown rice three times a day. I mean, I would be dreading that because my gosh, that would get old. And brown rice, come on, let's be real, is disgusting. So I'm going to talk about how to eat foods you enjoy and get healthy at the same time. So strap in, get ready for episode 252. Let's go. The future of fitness. How do you gain muscle mass? Fitness is not complicated. It's simple when you break it down. There's so much information out there. No fads, no diets, just plain simple habits. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to this episode. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the show. I am so glad you are here. Today, I'm excited about this episode because food gets me pumped up. I think in another life, I would be a chef. Like, I, I think I really would. I love food. I love prepping food. I love talking about food. Like, I really do. Like, Gordon Ramsay, I, I could kick it with him. Like, me and him, he don't even know it yet, but we're going to be friends someday. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what this episode is about. What this episode is about is learning to enjoy what you eat. That's right. You don't have to dread what you eat. And a lot of people get in that mindset of, I've got to go on a diet and I'm going to hate everything I eat. And if, well, if that's your mindset, then yeah, you're going to fail. You're absolutely going to fail because if you don't enjoy what you eat, then guess what? You're going to have enough willpower to make it maybe a week, maybe two weeks. And then you're going to be like, screw this. And you're going to go back to eating the way you did. And so how do we avoid that? How do we eat healthy, but enjoy what we eat. Well, it's honestly a lot easier than we make it out to be. We think that we have to, you know, go just crazy, crazy, like I said, chicken and broccoli and brown rice three times a day. And that's just not the case. Now, I'm not saying you can go through the McDonald's drive through every day and order pizza every night and enjoy that and hit your fitness goals. Like, obviously, there's got to be some give and take here, right? But what I am saying is so many regular meals that you might already be eating, you can make and just make them a little bit healthier and maybe make your portion size smaller and you'll hit your goals like you absolutely will or portion size bigger if you're trying to gain. So kind of what you want to focus on, let's take something like tacos, okay? Who doesn't like tacos, right? If you don't, well, I, I don't even know why you're listening to this podcast because I don't think we can be friends. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. But let's take tacos, okay? Tacos are a pretty common food item that most people would admit they enjoy. And there are so many different ways to make healthy taco style meals. So number one, subbing out the ground beef for ground turkey or a leaner ground beef is step one. That's like priority. Then you can add in some black beans to add a little extra protein, a little extra fiber, which is really going to help you out in that. The next thing is swap out the tortilla chips, swap out the, you know, the hard shells and the regular tortillas for a whole wheat tortilla, or skip that all together and just have a taco bowl where you're serving it over lettuce and adding some tomato. And then you've got your meat and then maybe just a little bit of cheese, a little bit of light sour cream, a little bit of salsa, and you're good to go. Like you don't have to worry. Now, if you're trying to lose, then just be mindful of your portion size uh, and, and you know, just still enjoy it. So that's one example, one small example of how you can take a meal that's pretty common and turn it into a healthy meal. Now, let's say you like soups or let's say you like casseroles. Okay, cool. There's a casserole that I love. And what I do is I cook chicken and cut it all up. I cube it. And then I cook some pasta and I cook some broccoli. See where I'm going with this? It's like a chicken Alfredo dish. It's like casserole style. So I have all that cooked. I throw it on a pan and then I make the Alfredo sauce. But rather than dumping those bottles of Alfredo sauce that, let's be honest, taste a little plasticky anyway, grab a container of cottage cheese, throw it in a blender, add about a half to a cup of milk and blend. Add seasoning like salt, pepper, garlic powder, and boom, you've got a healthy protein-packed Alfredo sauce. So it's not necessarily that you have to give up the foods you love. It's that you have to be creative in how you make them healthier. Because let's be honest, if you can make similar meals to what you already eat, but just make them healthier, then you will make progress. And Portion size is huge, no pun intended. So let's say that you're trying to lose. I'm going to use that example first, then I'll go into gaining. So if you're trying to lose, oftentimes you can eat, and, and I'm not saying you should just eat whatever, but what I am saying is if you eat unhealthy meals, but you cut your portion sizes in half, then you're going to see results just from that. If every single meal you sit down and you cut your portion size in half of what you normally eat and still eat the same exact food, 
you're going to see progress because you're limiting what you eat. Now, again, I do recommend that you change up what you eat and make it healthier and don't eat all the unhealthy crap. But I'm just saying like that's to the extent of how little you have to really change in order to see results. So maybe starting off, you only have a couple meals that you have figured out how to make healthy. Okay, cool. Make your normal meals, but just eat half a portion size. Two things are going to happen. One, again, you're going to see results. And two, as you eat less, yeah, the first week or maybe two kind of sucks because you're hungry a lot, but it starts to go away. Your body adjusts to how much food you give it, and it begins to function better. It really does. I know it sounds crazy, but every single client I work with, they always by week two, after like two weeks without fail, they're always like, yeah, I'm not really hungry like I was the first week or two. And it's because our bodies adjust. Our bodies are so adaptable. We are the most like adaptable species on the planet, I feel like. We can adapt to anything just about. I mean, just look at the diversity in the world and where we live in climates and how different it is. Like our bodies can take a lot and they can adapt very, very well. So the same thing with this, like start eating less, even if you're not eating all the healthy things right now, that's going to start making steps towards where you want to go. And the same is true for if you're trying to gain, like if you're a hard gainer like me and you, you're trying to put on more muscle mass without all the fat, same thing applies. Just increase your portion sizes. You don't have to necessarily eat all this crazy thing and buy mass gainer protein and all this stuff. Just eat more food. And I know that sounds like I'm already full. I don't feel like eating. But again, your body will adapt. Your body will get used to how much food. And yeah, you may feel a little sick for a couple of weeks as you increase how much you're eating. But again, that'll go away because your body will begin to adapt and adjust to how much you're eating. Again, our bodies are adaptable. So stick with it for a couple weeks. I mean, my gosh, we all can do anything for a couple weeks, right? Like that's not the end of the world. And then it starts to get easier. It's those first couple weeks though, especially towards the end of that second week when like, it's kind of like, man, I'm so tired of this. I don't know if I should keep going. And then right after that, we start to hit a stride a little bit and we start to get used to things. So stick with it for at least those first couple weeks and give it some time. Another thing if you're trying to gain mass is try to eat calorie dense foods. You know, there are certain foods that have an insane amount of calories in them. Let's take an avocado and a baked potato. They're roughly the same size, right? Baked potato might be a little bit larger than an avocado. Baked potato on average is about 150 calories. Not bad. In fact, baked potatoes are one of the most satiating foods. They're packed with fiber. So if you're trying to lose weight, definitely add in baked potatoes to your meal. Just don't go with the loaded with cheese and bacon and all that. Like put a tiny bit of something in it, just flavor it up a little bit and be good with it. And avocado on the other hand, which is like the same size is roughly 350 calories. So yeah, avocados are great and they're healthy. Don't get me wrong, but holy crap, are they high in calories? So if you're trying to lose weight, you probably want to either steer clear of them or have a very small portion, like very small because they're super calorie dense. And there's so many foods like this. Okay. Pasta. Pasta is another great one if you are trying to gain because it is calorie packed. I do recommend like whole wheat pasta or one of the veggie pastas or shoot, they even have the protein pastas now. Choose one of those just because it won't be straight carbs. It'll be a little bit better source. The whole grain has the fiber and bran in it, which is better for you. Uh, but it's a great thing to have as a side if you're trying to gain because it is packed with calories. On the reverse side, if you're trying to lose weight, I would steer clear of pasta for that reason. It is very, very calorie dense. So you've got to kind of learn what foods will fill you up with lower calories because that's really, really going to help in addition to eating things you enjoy. So and there's a lot of foods like this. There's so many foods where it's just crazy how few or how high calorie content it is. So start looking at labels, start plugging things in your app. I always say the first place to start is download an app. My gosh, there's millions of them out there now. Samsung comes with one. I think Apple has one as well. You can get the Fitbit app, which is free, the My Fitness Pal app, which is free, Lose It, which is free. Like there's all these free apps that are calorie counting apps. And you can plug in any food. You can scan barcodes. Like you don't even have to type. And it will tell you what's in it and how many calories per portion size. Start doing that because that is going to open your world and blow your mind. I know it did me when I started tracking stuff. So I hope this is helpful. Again, don't get overwhelmed. You can still enjoy the food you eat. It doesn't have to be this bland, yucky food because if it is, you're not going to stick with it. You've got to enjoy what you eat. I love what I eat. I really do. So that being said, 
With that being said, please check us out on social media. We have a great YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash bones to bulk. Over 600 videos now packed with information. So definitely head on over there and check those out. Subscribe to the channel. That would be, I'd be so appreciative of that. With that being said, remember, no matter what you're facing, what things you're coming up against, how much of food is just driving you crazy, you can hit your goals. You can overcome any obstacle. You've got this. Bye.